in Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant for March 2024. This is for you. There has been some arguments and some discussions in your love area, in your romantic area. So if you've been seeing someone, there's going to be something that breaks and is not a good thing. So it tells me that, you know, there might be some, well, it could be a good thing because what it does is, is clear the air, okay? It does bring it um, to the surface and assist you in supporting um, what is authentic in you, what is um, in, has integral, uh, you have an integral connection to. So I'm gonna say that Pisces needs to um, walk away with, from what isn't serving your highest good. Um, and that might even require you to walk away from a home that you're living in or space that you're living in or, and maybe focus a little more on um, securing yourself long term. I think that Pisces is, uh, there's a blend of you. Some of you are in good relationships that are, are really worth saving, worth talking through, or having discussions on and others in relationships may have arguments and disputes that they need to go through. And then there's the other Pisces who are walking away from relationships that don't serve them. So there's, so there's all of that. So the bottom line is the Pisces relationship needs attention. Your issues in love and love affairs will be trust and rejection, trust and abandonment. Those things are big. A lot of doors will open up, better doors will open up for you in the Sabbath. And for the month of March, you guys are going to be facing that, looking at that, dealing with that, sorting with sorting that, and coming to a really good place because you took the time to do that. Okay, now you haven't given enough time to these things before. So certain things are stirring in March to make you do that, to force you to take a good look at things, okay? Uh, you've had, you've kind of been down on your luck around relations, been down on your luck around um, even your job, everything's kind of been upside down, topsy-turvy for you, okay? Just a little bit. Now, it doesn't mean you can't fix it. You can. It doesn't mean you haven't fixed some. You have. But March is still carrying some of that, the remnants of how things have been and how you've had to work towards solving them, okay? Take a leap of faith. Now, it is, let's not forget, leap year, okay? So this is a really good time to really, you know, take, take note you know, if you've been following the same footsteps for a really long time and not super happy doing it, then this would be a very good time for you to take a leap of faith and choose a path of least resistance as well as a path never traveled. All right, so this is a good opportunity for you to go, you know what? I'm kind of done with everything I'm doing over here and I'd like to make some big changes and I'm gonna go this way, right? and uh, take that leap of faith somewhere you have never been. It's gonna be work out really good, really well, and in your favor. Uh, Pisces does not feel as if they've been given enough kindness or given enough love or given enough support. Not all of you, but you know, I'd say that the majority of you do feel like you're doing things on your own, do feel like you, even if you're married, you know, it might even be because your partner is so busy or the two of you don't get enough time together, something like that. So your relationship does need um, some attention or support or activity or, you know, maybe you're just doing the same old, same old. You need to spice it up. You need to spruce it up a little bit, right? That kind of thing. There could be some really good news coming your way. Really good news comes your way, but don't fool yourself. Take it slowly, okay? Take it slowly. Uh, it could be that someone comes to you with some information about someone else and you find out that this other person is a bit of a trickster, um, maybe um, is manipulating you, and it's because of this person that gives you uh, this information that at first it's kind of like blows you away, but then you realize that it was, you know, you're meant to know this so that you don't get, you don't get duped. <laughs> Around work, Pisces, I want you to go slow, take your time. You might, you might need more than one job to make, uh, to, to make it work or more than one income to make things work. There could be some disputes and discussions and, and things aren't going quite the way you like in the work environment. You'll fix it though. Um, I guess you've been trying to get to something, trying to meet a requirement, trying to, uh, and maybe there's something to do with lawyers or maybe there's something to do with um, law or policy or 
bylaws, you know, stuff like that. Uh, maybe there's stuff like that that you need to follow, a lease or anything, anything that forces you to stay the course. That may be a bit of a difficulty. So you may, you may have to face some things and not feeling like doing it, but it's there. I mean, that whatever workplace you're in, it might be worth uh, working through the details or working through the problems. Okay, but also I think it, if you are lacking skill, it would be a good idea for you to get more skill. If you want to upgrade your skill, maybe there's something in the workplace you don't know enough about and that's all you need to learn about. Either way, it's an opportunity for you to increase your knowing, increase your knowledge. And maybe you're not feeling so much like giving right now. And this is another one I'm going to say, if you have kids, Pisces, I'm going to say that they're going to annoy you right now. I mean, you love your kids. I'm not saying you don't love your kids, but I am saying that they, they might be an annoyance to you right now. Maybe you've got a lot of things you're trying to sort out and clear away and then their needs pop up and you're like, dude, I can't do this anymore. Okay, so I don't know. You guys just take some time out. Make sure your kids know your boundaries. Make sure. You and, and if you don't have children, this could be another thing. Maybe be an issue with children. Maybe you have to, either you've decided not to have them or you can't have them. So there's always at this point in this month of March is going to be some issue that's raised around children. I think you're going to step out and get some more knowing, more knowledge, more education or more um, viewpoint to in order to help you with this situation okay and then the other thing is to speak up and say you know kids it's my turn why don't you do something for me something like that those of you that are in relationship are working on sacred love and that is exactly what's needed and communi communication conversation and kindness is the way to get that Okay, now you could, some of you could also be dealing with a real hard headed or overbearing um, male energy, or um, some of you, or it could be old father issues that come to the surface that have to be dealt with, and maybe you never really looked it through, or maybe you don't understand um, your whole self around it. Okay, so this is going to be a good opportunity for you to come to understand that now there might be an issue that had surfaced an old issue that surfaces and that could instigate some trouble in the relationship but in the end i think you're going to put a hammer to that and everything is going to work out i see you hoping for the best in your work environment you're not going to be able to tell everybody exactly how you're feeling and thinking because there are some issues that are burdening you and and giving you a headache so that's gonna probably come to the surface in March and I'm not sure how you're gonna deal with all of that. Um, there could be an issue with your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, that type of thing in the family. And I'm not saying that um, you can't work it out, but it will be a bit of a headache, it will be a bit of a problem. Um, maybe someone's committed to something and then they don't do it and that's causing you an issue. Okay, so as far as health goes, that's what I mean about headache, stress related, worry, fear, concerns, those types of things. It could cause some neck pain, some skeletal pain, maybe a chiropractor will help, massage, that type of thing. Uh, even floating, I don't know why I'm being told. Oh, but probably because you're Pisces. Floating, floating, that kind of be, that might be a really good thing for you. you know, those floating beds or something like that. I think there's some of them out there. Um, that might be helpful for you. So I'm going to say as far as relationships and change in the relationship, if you're in one, it's going to make for, uh, a, this will be a good month to sort things out and get back on track. And if you're not in one, this is going to be a good month for you to think about who you've called into your life, how you've called them into your life, and um, well, what you're going to do so you don't call it back into your life. Now, final word in workplace is um, there might be some things you have to cut out, some people you have to cut out, some hours you have to cut out, uh, maybe even for you. Maybe you need to take more time, as I was saying, with your family or something like that. Maybe it's going to be, oh, March break's coming up. Maybe that's why March is going to give you some time out, okay, for your family. So that is what I have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant for March 2024. That is what I have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant for March 2024.